having feelings of deja vu. Let's go. Geeks was popping, McFarlane Gold Label, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, limited to 3,000 pieces. This is the Flash DC Rebirth Black and White Accent Edition. Dope artwork. This is a slip cover. And there's the Flash. You got the figure, got the stand. Got his card of authenticity and behind it looks like we got some lightning effects. So we've got a combo of different lightning effects. We've seen these with different flash figures in this line. Thank goodness these are not the effects that came with the recent movie versions. These have the pegs that stick onto them. They work much better. I hope McFarlane Toys sticks with these going forward. Authenticity card, a little bit hidden down there. We've got the flash black and white accent written at the bottom. And on the back, you can see I got 474 or 3000. Moving on up, baby. And there's the Flash. I gotta say, I like him. I like the sculpt, I like the costume, and I like the face. Now the standard version, I never opened mine, but I'm pretty sure it came out maybe about two years ago, a year ago. So I didn't get a chance to look at it close up, but now that I see this, it makes me want to open it. Yeah, he's the truth. That grain, that yellow, really pops. The colors complement each other well. The only drawbacks that I can see, those old school ball joint ankles that McFarlane is starting to phase out now. And these knee pegs look kind of wonky. Like, I don't like the way that hole is sitting there. You can kind of see into his thigh. Those are mine and nitpicks. Oh yeah, and these black pins here. Getting Black Adam vibes here a little bit. This head sculpt makes me think of the Justice League Unlimited cartoon that was on Cartoon Network a few years ago. Very cartoon-like. All right, in a 360 at the head. Tilt right. Tilt to the other right. Uh, I almost said something about the Speed Force and I thought about that awful Flash movie I saw last night. Ugh. Yeah, I giggled a few times, but it was not worth it. Good range looking up. You can work those McFarlane moth joints to get the arms up yay high. Speed force hug, nice and snug. Moth joints make that wingspan sick. Did I mention I love that head sculpt? 360 at the shoulder. You get 360 at the bicep, but boy, is it tough. There you go. Good thing I worked out today. Nothing at the forearm. 360 at the wrist, and you got the wrist ball joints as well, so you can get any kind of direction you want with that palm. Pin double jointed elbows, range superior, other figures inferior. Upper torso rocker gives them a little bit of crunch forward, a little bit of Wally West way back. You can lean with it, rock with it, and roll with it. Also, you get the 360 up top. Get 360 at the waist as well. No thigh cut, no boot cut. 360 at the feet. Great split range. Man damage is alive and well. Bend over. The kick. Double jointed pin knees give you great range. Foot range pointing down and pointing up. Articulated toes only point upward. Clock sand at just about six and three quarter inches. And there he is side by side with black and white soups. Final verdict, I think he's well worth the 30 bucks. The gray tones and the yellow just really complement each other. That black base stand with all the gold effects looks really good. And the head sculpt is A+. I wish it was on a newer buck, but even though it's not, I still love it. I just checked on the Big Bad Toy Store website and it is still in stock as of this recording. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description because I never do. 
in case you want to grab it. Let me know what you think, sound off in the comments, talk to me, talk to me. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend that loves the DC plastic like we do. Till next time, geek out.